Hello, this is Mellow Math Teacher here, ready for the other main challenge for Chapter 5 in the Pit and Mar the Thousand Year Door Community Challenge in the Glitz Pit Discord. I am tasked with defeating Lord Crump under the following conditions. This is kind of a puzzle boss sort of situation. I need to deal five separate attacks that do four, five, six, seven, and eight damage in order to defeat him before he attacks and after he before he heals and after he heals. Uh, I clear I try I wanted to clarify whether these had to be single lump sums of four through eight damage or if they could be made up in of individual numbers. For example, a jump doing two plus two weak would that count as four? Yes it would count as four. I wanted to make sure that was clear. I was thinking about maybe trying to see if I could create numbers I would not use this jumping rule to see if I can make it a bit more challenging. We'll see how this one goes first. Anyway, here's my badge setup. As always, there are no items with the presence exception I made during the Cortez fight. I'm going to have Gumbella to start with. And my and this is my badge setup. Jumpman is going to be boosting my jump attack damage. Jump attacks are going to be my primary method of offense and you'll see shortly how I intend to round out all the numbers. I also intend on using Topology and Vivian to get other to get the other numbers out and you'll see how that works soon enough. Unfortunately we have a pretty long but awesome cutscene to go through before we start so I'll talk a little bit. As I mentioned before, I graduated from college, which I'm pretty happy about. The other thing that I'm excited for is MAGFest. We're close enough to MAGFest at this point where if you're seeing this and you are not, you weren't previously intending on going, you're probably not going to go. But those of you who are attending, I'm actually going to be holding an attendee-run Mario Party tournament there. I mean, I figured it'd be fun to see what Mario Party tournaments would be like in sort of an eSports environment. Not really. But don't worry, it is a mostly skill-based competition, and I think it should be fun. It's the first time I've ran a tournament, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's on Friday at 10 a.m. in the consoles hall, if you're curious. Make sure you sign up for it if you're really, really interested in it. Look, you probably aren't. I mean, being Thousand Year Door players, this, yeah. If you really, really want to engage in it, then Mario Party can really be a lot of fun. But if it if it's not your thing, then there's really no convincing you. I'll let you know how it goes during the next month's challenge, though. But it looks like the battle's about to begin. If I find this to be too easy, I'll try and figure out a strategy where we don't use jumps, but instead use single attacks of 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 damage, just to up the challenge a bit. One thing that always bothered me is that the x knots and the Embers are fighting each other, but in all honesty, the x knots can't really attack the Embers without getting hurt themselves, so it's really not even a fair fight. The x knots don't have much health, and, the same, and they have the same attack as the Embers, so... Wait. The x knots have an item? I don't think I've seen the x knots carry an item before. Okay, so... Here's the way it's going to go down. The first attack is going to be a spin jump with all action commands executed properly. That's our 8. And Bella's going to do our tattle. To be clear, I'm not allowed to burn Lord Crump, nor am I allowed to super guard. 
Otherwise, that will ruin the damage calculation, and it will no longer be around 30 damage. There was some discussion on the Glitz Pit Discord about what would happen if, for example, stage, stage hazards fell on top of him and it ended up killing him. But considering that he can have a he can have four health when we leave only the four to be remaining, it's unlikely that such a thing could actually end up killing him. I think with the B rank stage, um, only a fork can do more than one damage. I believe the fork does two. So. Hitting the first action command for spin jump and failing the second gives us the seven damage we need. Goombella is going to switch over to... Let's switch to Topology. Let's get some guards. Yep. Because I can't super guard Crumb, I'm going for a de defensive setup with a damage dodge and a defam plus. Or Crump only has three attack power, so guarding Laura Crump's attacks normally won't will mean that Mario won't take damage, which is good. Topology can do a maximum of five damage using round pounds. And all that remains is the four. Finally, we'll switch over to Vivian, then Vivian will do a Shade Fist and fail the action command on purpose to get the remaining four damage. And that's pretty much how it's done. It's a pretty simple and elegant solution if I do say so myself. Wearing two pretty luckies also reduces damage done to Mario by the x knots which is quite a bit actually. The x knots have five attack power. So first, the proper spin jump. And a non-action command shade fist. I pressed A once, and it did Mario's guard, but not Vivian's, so apparently you have to press A twice to guard that. So let's see. Now I can do... Hit the first, feel the second, for a spin jump. And now Vivian switches over to Topology. And then Mario can we can finish this with a standard jump and a standard ground pound. Alright. That was pretty easy. I'm actually gonna take the time to see if I can figure out another strategy that doesn't involve jumps or ground pounds, like small amounts of damage adding up to total damage in a single attack. I think it will be pretty challenging considering the x knots up front being obstructing hammer damage. I could use hammer throw, and I could also use power jump. So we'll see what I can do. In the meantime, do your reading, do your homework, ask questions, go to your office hours. See you next time.